Glory be to God. Good morning. This is David Olubowale of Breaking For Today. Yesterday, we started a teaching on purpose, and I was talking about Daniel yesterday, and today we are moving forward again to talk about a man called Joseph, one of the giants in the Word of God in the Scripture. Now, in the book of Genesis 39, from verse 6 to 9, and I want to emphasize on verse 9, I'm telling you it's going to be awesome today. Now, Joseph had a dream. He had a dream, and dream is what drives your destiny. You know, I wrote a book on Drive Your Dream, which is on Amazon, but I want to focus on what I'm talking about today. Now, Joseph had a dream, but Joseph was so disciplined, and he did not allow anything to deter his dream. I don't know the kind of dreams you have that as, oh my God, that you think it cannot come to pass, but there's something you got to know to open the door for you. There's something we got to do that will open the door to your great destiny. Joseph was in the house of Potiphar. And you know what happened? He rose because of discipline, because of purpose. He rose from being a servant to be the head of all the servants. Can you imagine? He rose. He, be, he rise from becoming a servant to become all the head of all the servants in the house of Potiphar. And as a result of that, he was a good man. He was a good looking somebody. And the wife of Potiphar want to have sex with Joseph. You know what? If the wife of your boss want to have a sex with you as a man, what do you think? That means you are free. You, you become great in the house. But Joseph said, no, I'm a man of purpose. I won't do that. I have a dream. Even though my dream is not speaking today, I won't do what is wrong. I won't cheat. I will not change the figure. I will not lie. My God, <laughs> I will not betray my partner. No, I won't do that. Joseph said, no, I will not do such sin against my God. Genesis chapter 39, verse number 9. Joseph said, I will not commit such evil, such sin against my God. Not even against himself. A man of purpose is not selfish. A man of purpose is focused. A man of purpose look at the future, not at the present. A man of purpose resist the devil and the devil will flee from him. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. This is another day. We are in the middle of the month. In case you have messed up the first half of the month, the remaining half of the month, come on now, God can do something great in your life. I want you to be purposeful and God will give you the empowerment to be purposeful. When you are purposeful, you will get to the top of your mark. You will get to the zenith of life. When Joseph was purposeful, though he was in the prison, in the prison, he was still purpose. He was man of focus. And from there, purpose took him to the throne. He became the prime minister, the second in command in a foreign land. Can you imagine? He became the second in command, the prime minister in the land of Egypt, which was the renowned and the most powerful nation at that time. Purpose took him there. Discipline took him there. Focus took him there. What about you and I? Purpose, driven, vision, discipline can also take us there. Remember, when you are a man of purpose, you will end up to you will end up with a pursuit, and your pursuit will make you to become profiting in life. God bless you. I remain David Olubowale on Breaking Forth today. I meet you again on the next telecast. Remember, God is on your side. Don't give up. Don't betray yourself, and don't be selfish. If Joseph can be purposeful, we are under a better covenant. You too, you can live a life of purpose. And at the end of the day, you will get to your throne in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. Till I meet you again, be blessed. Hallelujah. Amen.